going on guys junior sot metalworks how's everybody doing so uh what's going on tonight is hmm let's do a walk around this table it's been a lot of people asking uh about the table what we use uh what it's capable of uh some of the things with it tonight now that the sun's went down here in the state of hot kentucky uh i'm gonna try to do a little walk around we're gonna see how this works so bear with me just a minute and we'll get you guys uh switched around over here and we'll do a little walk around the table all right guys so you can see we're here in front of the shop saber this is the sidekick eight in case anybody needs to know uh they make this in a 10 i believe they're gonna start making it in a 12 uh i'm not 100 percent sure yet but yeah uh the table this is what you would call a, a downdraft table this is not the waterbed table like uh you see uh, i've got my buddies in one of my videos where he's got the waterbed uh set up uh which helps a little bit in certain areas hurts a little bit in other areas and we'll kind of try to go through that and and give you the gist of both things but this is a i bought this table set up just like this without the downdraft system what we did was uh so the downdraft system you've got a fan outside that blows outside the shop sucks all the uh the contaminants the dust the smoke the just everything you can think of sucks it on out the door blows it out behind the shop uh why did i go with that instead of the waterbed table uh number one the waterbed table was more expensive uh number two i feel like the waterbed table is a whole lot dirtier uh dealing with water there's a lot more cleanup involved there's a lot more uh stuff like that and my shop is not heated on a regular and not cooled on a regular so that being said i would have to keep my shop heated in the winter time 24 7 more on the electric bill more money going out the door that i don't really reap the rewards for i can come in here turn the torpedo heater on in the winter time roll with it lord knows we don't need a torpedo heater right now because it's too daggone hot but uh the ac would be nice right now uh in case the wife's watching that's uh just just throwing that out there <laughs> but back to the downdraft system uh this system did not i repeat did not come on this table i ordered this table without the downdraft system the reason i did that i added the downdraft system myself i took the table cut out what i needed to cut out to make our trough and i'll try to get you a little picture here you guys can kind of see you've got my box running out over there we've got our uh, outlet right here it runs out the back of the shop back over here out of the way runs right out the back we've got our fan in our box right here uh, and it comes over to our electric plug in there we plug it in roll it out the door uh, these tables are notorious about the ground so we've got a 20 foot ground drove in the ground out back the shop it comes in on this line right here hooks right up a uh, big thing about these tables is grounding so that being said if you get one of these tables, make sure you've got a very, very good ground. All right, so we'll get back over here to the back side of the table where I keep everything out of the way. What runs this table is this Hypertherm 65 right there. And that little joker is all the powers. Uh, this torch head and, and all this. And of course this torch is set up on a magnet deal here. Uh, it's a breakaway style. We set the levels on it everything's true and plumb good to go uh let's see this big box down here that you see it runs all your electronics to run the motors they're on your table so your x and y and all that stuff is ran by these two motors which is a little different than some tables uh they've all got a certain type motor set up on them uh, but these are beefed up a little more. We like that when we ordered the table. Also, it's got a bigger gantry on it than most tables. And there's a big reason for that. Big reason for the big gantry. So the reason we went with Shop Saber, this is a little different than most CNC plasma tables. Now, this is not a laser. This is plasma. So you're adding a little extra heat, stuff like that. Uh, me, myself, I cannot afford the laser. They were extremely expensive. And I'm having really good luck with the plasma. So that's what we're going to stick with for right now. Hopefully you guys will buy more signs and we'll be able to upgrade and get the laser. But <laughs> just messing with you guys. But 
why we went with the shop saber this table is set up with a program that we have and it's in route six is our program we have this table can run with metal which it can run the hypertherm uh run the plasma all that it can also run a uh, cnc router system set up on here you, you buy the head for it mount everything to it there it's good to go so you can do all your 3d woodworking all your uh just anything like that you think you might need so yeah uh two things there that made a big difference compared to other tables uh, especially when it comes to plasma cnc tables the other thing is is you could also run put the table on here and run a vinyl letter cutter you can run an etcher off this table uh there are four or five different things that you can do with this table that other tables are not quite set up to do so it made a big difference for us it was a a big thing that if the metal part of things didn't work out the targets and so on and so forth didn't work out we could go a different route and and not have to be concerned that we were stuck in one certain area plus later on down the road if i, I feel like this is something i want to get out of or i want to upgrade tables and sell this table something like that that's a possibility for us because it has a broader uh, spectrum of people that it can cater to uh woodworking guys metal guys uh, vinyl letter guys i mean it's so big and broad out there it's crazy so that's why we really went with shop saber i'm not saying there's tables out there that won't do all this table will do at the time that we bought this table it was though uh for the price for the price there were there were tables out there that would do it but whoo uh was no way in the world that we were going to be able to afford one so uh, i know a lot of guys who have the smaller tables um I'm not going to name names on those tables. They're great tables uh, for what they do. But some of those smaller tables, you know, four or $5,000 worth, something like that, they're not quite set up for the big heavy-duty production stuff. If I want to run all day long with this table, this table will, will do just fine. Um, the only thing I have to worry about is electric bill and the air compressor. As long as those two can keep up, I'm good to go. So this table is no slouch when it comes to that stuff. And we have run for eight hours in here before. Uh, I was pretty wore out about that. Uh, <laughs> there was a lot to keep up with during that time, but we were really selling targets hot and heavy. We were running a 3 8 thick steel, and uh, I think I got a piece right here. But uh, yeah, this is a 3 8 thick, as you can see there. This is uh, AR500. This is what all our targets are made out of. And you can see this is uh, us changing over from our signs to our uh, 3 8 thick stuff here and we run a couple test passes just to make sure everything was up to par before we start cutting targets that way we don't mess uh mess something up but you can see I had the table set a little too fast there it kind of gouged out on that one uh was doing good doing good uh tried to bump it up a little more got a little more gouging done out of that one right there bumped it back a notch and the last pass run really really clean there so yeah, it's all about how much uh, slag you get on the backside, how much uh, how much gap you, you're leaving. Uh, there's a bunch of different variables, but but yeah, that's just testing is a big part of this table for me. So while the testing and stuff like that, because I'll be honest, I've technically not been formally trained on a CNC plasma table. I I mean I've had a couple classes. The guys at Shop Saber CNC have been great uh they work with me from time to time when i have dumb questions or you know i really messed something up that shouldn't have been messed up because i didn't know but <clears throat> those guys at shop saber they're fantastic i couldn't i couldn't ask for better guys to talk to deal with on a regular basis uh they've been fantastic with us and that's why a big part of the reason i went to this table so what was the other reason i went to this table let me get something to drink real quick and we'll let you know all right we're back uh took a little hiatus there had some customers show up so i had to uh do a little business and this is a couple days later but it's all going to roll in the same video so what does it really matter got a good sh shooter option target shirt on so what's the big deal but reason number two here's reason number two i am extremely used to running the program that's on this table uh, the in route program is on a couple different tables that I've had the option to run, stuff like that. And if everybody knows me, knows I'm not the most uh, computer savvy guy there is. So, that being said, one program between work, my buddy's house, and here, it all runs the same program. 
that makes it extremely easy on me. We can bounce ideas off each other all the time. Hey, my table's doing this. What do you think it is? Or my table's doing this. What am I doing wrong? And it's nice to have that camaraderie back and forth with somebody to that has the same program that you have. Most programs all run pretty much the same way. There's a little different quirks and, and differences in every program, but I didn't want to have to learn two or three different programs. I wanted to stick with the very least amount I could, and that's one. So between work, the buddy, and here, I'm good to go. I don't have to worry about uh, what programs what, getting stuff confused. Uh, you know, all those programs are going to run a little bit differently one way, shape, or form to the other, but that's eh, all part of it. So that was reason number two. So as you can see, we got a little extra steel on there. We were cutting a few signs out, uh, showing some people the deal here. But let's go over to the program. You guys see the uh, this here in uh, in some of our videos and stuff, and we've got the uh, in route set up. Uh, so yeah, this is a pretty much our drawing file uh, where we put all our tool paths and all that stuff in. And I've got a video of uh, this on my channel. You guys can look that up. Uh, I'll try to uh, maybe put an end screen or put a card in so we can give you guys a link to it. Alrighty, so let's try this again. Uh, another day, another dollar. There are just too many projects going on. But that being said, anybody with a small business understands it's a pretty much a 24-7 deal. When the customers call, you got to answer. But yeah, got tied up with that, but we're back trying to go over this table. Uh, one big thing I wanted to go over was these slats. Everybody asked me how often you uh, you replace these. These are the original slots for this slats for this table. I believe we've had this table two two and a half years now, somewhere in that neighborhood. And you can see there's some stuff built up on them, uh, but it's not real bad. And these slots are all removable. They come right out. You just cut you another piece before these get too uh, crappy, and then throw another one in there. Uh, it's fairly easy, pretty pretty standard across the board on uh, on all these plasma tables. So yeah, that's one uh, little easy deal there. Easy question answered for sure. But you guys can see all the goodies we got down here. And uh, I'll pull out of here from time to time and find a little piece to uh, do something with or whatever. So I always try to keep all the little cutouts. But you know, if anybody's interested in those, let me know. We'll uh, We'll hook you up. Do all kind of little fandy dandy artwork with it all right guys we're gonna try to wrap this up this is this video has been a pain it's been a booger but here's what i want you guys to do to help me out go down there in the comments first off make sure you subscribe second of all make sure you hit the like button third help me out tremendously go down there in the comments leave me some questions of stuff you guys need to know about this table uh and, and we'll try to do another video later on down the road i'll get everything uh written down and i'll make me a list i'll go through it and we'll try to get you guys some info on what we got going on with this table and why we think it's better and stuff like that but there's a lot of parameters in the table what table works for me may not work for another shop or another person you know price may dictate a whole bunch we were fortunate enough to start out with a pretty top-notch table uh, I understand having to start with a lower grade table and work your way up and stuff like that. So it's 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 been a guys, this has been a, probably a ten year goal of mine to get this table. So you know, it didn't happen overnight by no means. I worked my butt off trying to get uh, everything together to get this, but that's just part of it. As smaller shop as we are, just me and the wife doing everything, it is very difficult to keep up with stuff. Uh, the table makes it tremendously easy. I know when I have to do something on it, that that program and that table is gonna get done what I ask it to get done. Uh, very seldom does it mess up, and nine times out of 10 when it does mess up, it's my fault. The other 1% is, you know, things happen. Electricity goes out, uh, you know, thunderstorm throw through and, you know, throw a wrench in your plans or whatever. Fluctuating with electricity, uh, air compression went down one, I missed a sign up that way, it threw a belt off nothing major there but things do happen it's not always necessarily the table's fault as much as it is it is mine uh forget to replace consumables you know just different things it's just all part of the game but we greatly appreciate you guys tuning in 
thank you all so much appreciate all the new subscribers out there and like i said guys if you haven't yet please subscribe to the channel make sure you hit that like so this is junior sot metalworks guys we're out thank you all so much remember work smarter not harder